Hello there exiles, today I want to show you the most efficient way to attempt to put temple life mod from rings into a better base that has a delirium essence damage over time multiplier mod. After you essence every ring, you're gonna check all of them if any have a good uh, combination of T1 or T2 life together with Dexterity or Chaos Res or High Res or any of Life Regen because some of those rings could end up selling for a lot more than you put in. After that you would want to check if any of them have a low life mod because it's gonna block the Temple Life mod. In that case you would reuse an essence of delirium on it to re-roll the mods. After you checked if all the rings don't have life, you will check if there are any with three prefixes. In case there are any with pre prefixes, you are just gonna prefix to suffix beast craft. But don't forget to block any suffix that you deem useless before doing the prefix to suffix beastcraft. 66% of the time you'll end up with a 4 mod ring but the rest of the 33% chance you'll end up with a 5 mod ring which can be used in the craft but it will only make it harder to find the right temple life ring counterpart. The 6 mod ring if it has good mods on it, you could attempt to annul one of or two of them in order to bring it to a decent state where you can use it in the craft. And uh, the ring will look something like this. One or two prefixes and two or three suffixes. And these affixes we are gonna look when we are searching trade for the temple life together with these specific three affixes. And when we are looking for uh, the temple life ring, it should not have more than two suffixes on it. In this perfect scenario, the odds of putting both temple life and damage over time multiplier together are around 48%. But there's a 50-50 when it picks the base so the odds of successfully putting those two mods on the right base is 24%. If somehow when you are searching for these specific three affixes that you got on the damage over time multiplier ring and didn't find them you could search for two of them but make sure the last two affixes that are left one on the damage over time multiplier ring and the one on the temple ring can be crafted with uh, the bench craft this is how uh, a search will look like you're gonna search for a ring with 70 or more life with increased maximum life, this combo will only show us temple life rings together with the mandatory open suffix. And you'll add a count option like this, where you're gonna write 3 at first or 4 if you have a 5 mod damage over time multiplier ring. And uh, here is where you put all the affixes you got on the damage over time multiplier ring to check if there is a temple life counterpart for it. You're gonna search, see if there are any. If you don't find any or the price is too high, you can always decrease the, the count. You're gonna find a ring with these properties but with only two of these. Make sure that the third that is left out 
is always a craftable one. And the extra mod that you found on the Temple Life one is also a craftable one. If you don't get the perfect scenario, this is how the next best setup will look like. The three affixes, damage over time and the crafted for fourth affix that we got randomly on the temple life ring and uh, the temple ring with two of the same affixes from the damage over time multiplier ring together with the fourth affix that we crafted and room to craft the third affix we have on the damage over time multiplier ring in this case we are looking at a 42% chance of success and a 21% chance of getting it on the right base. Any other affixes that exceed this number or this setup will only end up in a higher degree of failure. So if you are willing to risk having a random affix blocking your damage over time multiplier or your temple life, it is your choice, but keep in mind it will drastically decrease your odds of success. That's why the next best thing to do if you don't find a Temple Life counterpart is to search for T2 or T1 Life and these specific affixes. And this is how you're gonna do it. If you somehow don't find at least two matching affixes with a third craftable on both you can increase the count and uh, remove the fact that it's a temple mod uh, making it more likely to find options when uh, searching for the rings if you still don't find a counterpart you would also decrease the life to the next tier, the tier 2 life. It seems that trade isn't cooperating with us today, but this is how you would do it. If you still don't find, you can decrease the number, like I showed you in the temple life example, making sure the one you leave out is a craftable one on the life base, and uh, the one you get extra on the life base can be crafted on the damage over time base. Now that we got the counterpart for every ring or the best possible option as a counterpart, this is how uh, the merger should look like. Three other affixes together with the damage over time multiplier from the delirium essence on the ring of your choice on a temple life with Preferably three other affixes that match the three you have on the Delirium Essence one. If you don't find a adequate counterpart for a decent price, you could one, like in my case, I foregoed the Fire Resist or Cast Speed mod, lowering my chance of success. Or you can uh, look for a non-Temple Life, but which has the perfect uh, affixes that you got on the Delirium uh, Ring. This will uh, give us the best odds of hitting uh, the mods on the same uh, ring. But if you want the Temple Life, you either you pay more for the right base or you risk more. I got the right counterparts here also. Here I also got a good match with Temple Life, Lightning, a two attacks, Dexterity and Intelligence, together with Damage Over Time Mode and Temple Life. But sadly, in some cases, you will end up not finding a right counterpart with Temple Life. And uh, for those scenarios, looking on trade or uh, non Temple Life, T1 life or T2 in some cases will be your next best choice. Keep in mind looking for these ones will uh, yield better uh, suffixes usually or a lower price. Same here. 
And now let's do the recombination. All the mods, but sadly on the wrong base. Still a nice ring. We missed sadly the damage over time, but it is expected. This is a really nice ring. This is a marginal success, but a success still. We didn't hit the opal base. Sadly, we didn't hit any of the bases we went for, but we hit both life and damage over time multiplier with a craftable suffix. And the last one. Out of all the rings that we went for, only this one, it seems, didn't get the damage over time multiplier, while the rest got it, together with life. Sadly, none of them got the right base, but it was a 50-50 in that scenario. For those of you who are still here, I wanna say I really appreciate it, and if somehow the video helped you in any way, I would like to hear about it in the comments. If you are looking for the next currency making strat or righteous fire budget crafts, leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thank you and I hope you always keep the damage over time multiplier and the team one life or temple life.